Hi, good morning. I'm about to finish up today's DIY and post it, but I wanted to come on here in case you guys don't follow the community tab on my channel page. Yes, I wear eye patches every morning in a row. This is me in all my glory. Or you don't follow me on Instagram. Callie recently over the weekend got super sick. She was pooping and vomiting blood. I know TMI, but I just like to be fully transparent with you guys. And it derailed a lot of my projects because she is my entire world. We still aren't quite sure what's going on. I'm gonna take her to get an ultrasound next week. I had to take her to the emergency vet yesterday as well. She wanted to touch her food. With that being said, I just wanted to do this pimple, sorry. With with that being said, it's gonna be a lot more just easier projects this month. I'm finishing out my sponsorship with Quickreet, so you're gonna have about four different concrete DIY tutorials today included. And I know it's not the typical like room makeovers and the huge builds and the new projects. Um, I'm hoping to rev that back up at the end of the month. But right now, solely, my focus is to make sure that my dog is 100% okay and gets better and we know what's happening and I can tackle it and make sure that I'm doing all that I can to keep her healthy. I love keeping it 100. As you can see, pimple, eye patches, coffee, robe, and all. I just wanted to give you guys an update. I'm gonna go and change out of my robe and finish this DIY for you guys today. There's been just an influx of people coming in, and I know that's because of the room makeover, so I'm sorry if that's not what you're getting for the next couple of weeks. I just need to make sure that my puppy is 100%. So I love you guys so much, and let's just get to this DIY. Excuse the hot mess express right there. Today, you and I are gonna be doing a project together that is my first time. I am doing a DIY concrete clock and it is going to say wine time because it is a gift for my friend Lindsay to congratulate her on starting her YouTube channel. I've linked it down below for you. All the materials are listed down below in the description box, but let's just jump right into it. I started off by finding the center of my circle. I originally was going to put a screw there and put a straw on top to make room for the clock piece that needs to go through through it. That did not end up working. It was too big and the straw wouldn't fit over it. So I put some wood putty over it and let that dry because we'll go back in with a nail. Feel free to do whatever you'd like as the word or the quote or even numbers on the clock. I started by hot gluing them backwards because when you flip the concrete over, it'll be the right way to read it. And then I moved on to using wood glue because it actually was stronger and you'll see that when we pop this guy out. I sanded away the excess wood putty, hammered in a nail through the center of that circle round, and then taped just painter's tape around my wooden round. And I know I keep saying that a lot, but hello, that is the shape and that is what you gotta do. The wooden letters look really cute on that though too. So you could do it that way and skip the whole concrete thing. This is my first time. I just wanted to do something therapeutic after being stressed out with Callie. I put some hot glue on the inside of that straw, slid it over and secured it to make room for the screw for the clock mechanism. I then started mixing up some of my quick re and per your guys' instructions and feedback, I sprayed the area with some cooking oil and then poured the quick re right on top of the round. You can go as thick as you want or as thick as that tape is. I'm assuming it without it overflowing but for me I just kept it on the thin side it may be a little too thin you guys let me know it genuinely took this thing not even a day to dry because it was so thin but I let it sit for two because you all know how concrete is I pulled away the tape I kind of went around the edges with a little spatula and it popped right out the only letter that I used hot glue on is the only letter that stayed in the concrete that's why I used wood glue the only thing I had to buy for this DIY was this clock kit and that is from Michaels. I used 40% off so it was like $6 that I spent on this clock. That screw, or I don't even know the proper terminology for that, but it was sticking out way too far for my liking, so I decided to E6000 some little wood scraps that I had on hand to make that screw not protrude as far. I added some glue on top of those wooden dowel pieces and secured it directly to the back of the clock, let that dry, and moved forward with adding the hour, the minute, and the second hands on top. I made sure that the clock was set for the right time and I like the back of the clock mechanism because it has a hook there already for you to hang it, but that's literally it for today, guys. A very simple DIY, but I wanted to celebrate my friend launching her YouTube channel. Her and I love some wine and I really thought it would be an awesome addition to her backyard makeover that she's currently working on. Be sure to follow her down in the links below. Thank you guys so much for being patient during this like weird time with Callie. Um, I'm excited to get back to building, but I just, I 
again, need to make sure that my Durg is good. Let me know what you would put on your concrete clock down below. Would they be numbers? What would the quote be? You know, sharing is caring over on this channel. I will catch you next Wednesday for another DIY. Hopefully, fingers crossed, Callie's 100% and we get back to building. Thank you guys for being so patient and understanding.